Well, I'll be honest, I didn't think it was possible, but I've managed to get my car right up that little track all the way to the uh, allotment itself, so that is wicked. Isn't it wicked? Um, <clears throat> back down here for another little go. New acquisition. Um, I thought these had all sold out now because I know it's very late on in the year, but I've uh, got a couple of apple trees. Woohoo! Check me out. I'm like a farmer. Uh, what have we got? We've got the Cox's Orange Pippin. That's definitely not picking that up. I'm going to put my shade in the way. There we go. And we have also got the Discover A. Um, yeah, so neither of them are self fertile, so I thought I'd get the two and they can help each other out. It means I'll probably get some nasty crossbreed apples. I don't know how it works really. I'm not really uh, an expert on these things, however, what I am an expert in is digging holes. So I'm going to get these whacked in. That's the first job of the day, I think. Idea is dig out a nice big hole about a metre square. You know the advert, you've all seen it. Every time you start a gardening video, it pops up. Guy with a very strange voice. Hello, welcome to the nursery. I'm going to show you how to dig a hole and plant a tree. So yeah, I'm going to follow those instructions, more or less. Uh, they're going up this top end here, next to the fence. Probably like here and here, or thereabouts. Just because that'll be nice and out of the way. It's at the back end of the plot as well, so when they're up, they're not going to be shading anything too badly and they'll get full sun all day, which is cool. Um, so yeah, first job of the day um, is that. I have also, because I've got to fix this greenhouse down before I get the glass on it, Obviously that's a very important thing. First stage of that, where are we gone? There you gone. Is I've got myself some uh, no more nails. So that's going to get squidged all the way around the outside, bottom of the base. Um, and then I'm also going to drill through. One, two, three, four, little drill holes, roll bolts, bolt it down. Then surely it won't go anywhere, uh, frame-wise anyway. If the wind blows strong enough, I'm sure it'll have the glass out. But, um, you know, can't win them all, can you? It's green ass, isn't it? It was free. What are you going to do? No point crying over broken glass or however it goes um, so yeah that's uh, that's 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 me this is today and that is what is going to happen so watch this space and um, sorry I noticed the last video was very very wobbly it's like I was like Ey! but um, I'm gonna try now to keep the video nice and smooth from here on in any wobbles shout at me all right Sorry, I'm being silly now. See you. I got a bit carried away there, actually. I got started and uh, forgot to uh, put my boots on and put my gloves on. And, does anyone find if you keep your wedding ring on, digging really causes you problems? I don't know, it just makes the ring really dig into your hand. So, yeah, my finger's been aching. I couldn't work out why. Then it struck me like a bolt of lightning. It's her fault, because I'm married, so I took the ring off as well. Don't tell her. Okay, for the uh, two trees, these are two areas. Hang on. Got a bit of a shadow. These are the two areas. Hello. Beautiful day. I can't even see my own screen. Uh, that's where they're going anyway, so I'm going to dig down there about a foot, get rid of any uh, horribleness in the soil, stones, weed roots, all the rest of it, and then I'm going to pick it up from there. Okay, people, quick geology lesson for you now. As you'll notice, the topography of the geography around here is somewhat raised toward the area that I'm standing on which is the top corner near the gate. Um, after exploratory uh, excavations I've now discovered the reason for that is that this top corner was at one time a, a, a rubbish dump. Um, yeah so I don't even know if you make that out actually but you can see oh do you see about three four inches down there's that line there that is, that's that thick, horrible nastiness, um, which I've managed to dig through. That layer's about five inches deep. Um, and we've actually got through now to the subsoil, which actually looks pretty juicy. So, um, yeah, hopefully that won't have any detrimental effect to the trees that I plan on planting, because detrimentally affecting my apples would not be very good. Um, I don't want to eat ones that have, uh, you know, they've got nastiness in them. But yes, um, electrical components, uh, plasterboard, uh, insulation, wires, crud, metal, bits of old, huge miflops and what's it's. Um, yeah, so it's been rather good, um, needless to say. That tiny little pile of soil there is all I've managed to get out of this huge hole, so when it comes to backfilling, I'm going to have a dimple. I don't think anyone wants a dimple around their apple tree, do they? What am I going to do? Oh well, dig on. The sun is absolutely beating down now. 
Right, so I've dug my hole, I've incorporated a load of uh, organic matter and also some multi-purpose compost as well has gone into there. I uh, hope you can actually make this out, it is like I say, very, very sunny today, it's beautiful, sweat is dripping off me. Um, I've also, and I know it's not ideal, I've put a stake in, this is one of these, uh, it is actually a metal stake. Um, it's got quite a bit of wobble on it though, so it's not not perfect. It has gone a good way into the soil though. You see the other one. So, you know, I've whacked it in a good two foot there. You know, that'll be going down into the clay, so that's sturdy. It'll help at least. Um, even though it shouldn't really be doing that. It'll help the apples shake off in uh, autumn time. Let's get a twang. So, that's the thing anyway. It's uh, First old dog. I've also got, where is it? What have I done with it? Where have I put it? Where are you? There it is. Oh. Right. Don't ask me how to pronounce that. Mycorrhizal, mycorrhizal, something like that. Um, the fungus, which for your permanent plants is apparently uh, brilliant. It sends out, it's like a fungus that sends out a network of. Uh, additional, well not additional roots, it's actually the fungus plant but it feeds the moisture and the nutrients back to the plant that you attach it to. In reply it just takes a small amount of uh, sugars and things like that out of the uh, tree but the benefits are all there for the tree because it uh, obviously it helps it take up moisture and nutrients out of the ground. Um, so I'm going to crack on with that. This is how the uh, tree has been supplied. So you can see the, uh, the graft at the bottom there and uh, it's wrapped up in this black shrink wrap. I'm going to clear what's underneath all the black shrink wrap. I'm imagining it to be roots. Oh, so it's not an actual bare root and it's, uh, it has a small amount of uh, compost with it. And bare root trees must be the dormant ones earlier in the year. I don't know what quality these are, they don't look in the best of condition to be fair, but they were cheap, so I thought, you know what, cheap is me, that is good. This is what the mycorrhizal looks like. It's uh, almost looks like kitty litter. There you go. Obviously that contains the spores for the fungus. Well that was a lot of hard work, I tell you. Never known anything like it. But then again I've never planted a tree before so... Scrub that, you know what I'm saying. It's tough. But they are in kind of very badly shaded by myself because it is beautiful. Um, see the best angle to get them at. I'm wondering if I've come too close together. They are on a dwarfing roof stock, so roof, roof, roof stock, root, roots about this house. There are roots and, this, and uh, they're about uh, getting on them two metres apart, I'd say. But, uh, ah, I don't know, we'll see. That's up at the top end there, that's the best place for him. So yeah, coming along. So that's my new discovery, and that's my new cox. Um, yeah, should be good. Don't know when they'll actually start producing. It doesn't really matter, I'll get them in now. If I'd have not put them in this year, it would have been another year. I've also... Uh, didn't put it on camera actually for some reason, just put some uh, asparagus in in this bed here. That's another one, takes a few years to mature, so if I ever want any, I better put it in now. A three year waiting list. Thank you very much for watching, that's it, so just a quick one today. I'll see you later, bye.